Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. We're going to be continuing to do our testing in the T6 Hybrid Fit Gamma Gila. This fit, in my opinion, if it's able to survive the T6 Abyss reliably, is a lot better alternative than active tanked T6 Abyss Gila's because it has a lot bigger buffer than a classical Gila. It has a large shield extender here and extender rigs. And this is very beneficial because it allows you to have a greater buffer, increasing the likelihood of you potentially surviving abyssal ganks. People who are outside of the abyssal filament and are ready to kill you. You can see here when we overheat these, we've got 138k EHP. And it's a lot to do with the fact that we've got Nirvana implants. I have tested this ferret out a few times before, and so far it's gone well. But when you're doing abyss fits and new abyss fits, and especially the more expensive abyss fits like this, I mean, this ship here, including the implants, goes for multiple billions. So it's not at all a cheap uh, fit to use. But the thing is, when you've got expensive fits like this, you need to make sure that they're reliable. And that's why I'm doing a lot of tests here. I think that after I do this test, if it goes smoothly, feels very confident when I'm doing this, then I probably am going to take this on tranquility. We'll see. It is, however, a little bit risky in general to use T6 uh, ships on Tranquility, but I'm definitely I'll be considering to use on Tranquility if it goes well here. Okay, deploy these. Got some... Oh, the Blech Making a lot of noise here. I'll turn down the volume a little bit. Have one go for him. Great. Okay, I need rogue drones. Yeah, we should go for these rogue drones first. Because they are going to be causing problems use the missiles on them I think that's a good idea do we have any blinders yeah the blind is a bit annoying we want to go for them maybe have our drones go for the blinder afterwards make our way towards the transfer conduit it's good that we've got these Valkyries that are really fast they're super fast drones Minmatar drones everything from Minmatar in general just goes very fast Split the drones a bit like that. Well, that guy went down quickly, that drone. I think that this drone might be going towards our drones. Maybe. Seems to be keeping us a good range. And he's not moving a whole lot, so we're getting good application, because I noticed that we're starting to do suddenly a lot more damage to these little rogue drones. Now that rogue drone is moving. Split these drones up a little bit. There we go. That was a quick wave right there. Their track waves are very quick in general they have low HP combine that with the gamma site where they've already got low explosive resist then it's produced even more here these gamma rooms are going to be super fast and they don't have any shields so it's not like they're going to be affected by the gamma sites increased amount of uh, shield bonus okay there we go recall drones three and a half minutes decent time for t6 I'm not bothering to take the caches because this is the test server. I'm not going to use that ASIC for anything. Okay, oh, this is a good wave for testing time. Okay, so this is where I want to use the augmenteds. Augmenteds and max DPS. We'll go for the... These confusers are good to go first because they make us do a little bit less damage. I'll go towards the transfer conduit. Then we'll go for entanglers probably afterwards. I think that'll be a good idea. Could also go for dissipators as well. Don't need to use that shield booster at this moment. They're good to just spread out the drones so they don't have to travel as much. Oh, we're taking quite a bit of newting damage actually. I was surprised how much newting damage we were taking. That is one of the downsides of the ship. It doesn't have the best amount of capacitor stability. Oh, we should definitely get more neutering resistance because look at that. There's how many? One, two, three, four. Four newts. Oh, never mind. There's eight newts because we've got a bunch of them here as well. That's why we we're taking so much newt damage. I was thinking only four of them because I think still, even though four of them is like quite a few, but I still don't think it should be that much that you're able to completely get neutered out this quickly into the site. We're going to have to switch this up a bit great thing about this fit is that we still have some degree of tank when even if we're completely neutered out and the only issue is that, that we're not able to use these uh, multi-spectrums so we have to make sure we get some cycles off when we get some slight amount of capacitor like now oh see so if we can use this 
There we go, like that. Are we able to... There we go. Get a few cycles off, so then we get more HP. And just cycle through these newts. There's a lot of newters. A lot of newters. I should have probably gone for them first. I think we'll be able to handle it, though. Is this a neuter? Yeah, that's also a neuter. I should maybe not Nosferatu him because I'm then just going to indirectly keep him alive because I see that I'm Nosferatuing him. I don't think I'm able to get anything from the Nos from him though. We should be more vigilant with using our multispectrums. And our missiles as well. Come on, give me some... Some missiles, some uh, multispectrum. There we go. Come on. Come on, we just want some more little capacitor. And this is what I mentioned before. The downside, the main downside of the ship is the, the risk for newts because the natural capacitor of the ship is not particularly good. We should probably be moving. It's going to slightly reduce the amount of damage. Not It'll not be a lot, but it'll be something. There we go. Get a quick cycle there. Oh, he was almost destroyed. Now almost all newts are destroyed. Can assume we were able to get that uh, multi-spectrum cycling actually, that's quite cool. So now no more newts on the grid. Just keep moving here. And here, DPS sort of works as a way to preserve our capacitor because the more we destroy, the less tanking we have to do. I mean, we've still got some HP left. Not a whole lot. But we just have to make sure that that capacitor gets up. That was not a uh, nice feeling there, seeing our capacitor getting completely eviscerated, and then we also have hardly any shields left. Now we've got more capacitors. We just need to wait a little bit until it recharges up. Could maybe do a full shield boost, maybe? That's possible because the shield booster will help a lot getting our shields up this low amount of HP. There we go, you see our shields are recovering. Great. Hmm, but that didn't at all feel nice. I'm getting used out hard like that. I'm not surprised it happened because that's always what I've worried a bit about using these hybrid fits. And even in the T45, storm go all the way down to T4. When I use my hybrid fits, newts are still one of my biggest uh, worries when you doing uh, the abyss for sites because when I'm going active tank, your natural capacity is really, really strong, so you don't have to worry about newts at all as much. But we've also got a lot of passive tanks, so in a way, we don't have to worry as much about newts as well because our tank is more reliant on passiveness than it would be with full active tank. How much time? We took three and a half minutes. No, eight and a half minutes have gone. That's a pretty decent amount of time, actually. What, wasn't it two and a half minutes? I, th I think it might have been two and a half minutes the time it took. Seventeen and a half. So soon six and a half minutes would have gone. So time is okay, it could be a little bit better. We were spending quite a bit of time not using our missiles and just sitting there. We've got plenty of time to spare in total because that first wave, but we can't assume it's always going to be easy. Like the first wave hell was really easy. We have to always assume worst case scenario because sooner or later you will encounter one of these really bad abyss sites where every single wave is a bad one. And that's not when you want to lose your multi-billion isk ship because that is going to take a long time to replace. Let's go for these upholders, I think that's a good idea. Activate afterburn as well. We don't need to use our shield boost as much now. Do we have a bunch of newts? Not so many newts, so it should be alright just to hold off from going for them right now. Go for this upholder. All these guys work, it's just going to be annoying and disabling our movements. We can't get to the origin conduit in a timely fashion. Then we probably want to go for the fire watchers afterwards. 
crews do quite a bit of damage as well. And they apply also pretty good to small stuff like our drones. So we don't want to mess with them or have them mess with us too much. Those upholders feel like they go down really quickly. Valkyrie taking quite a bit of damage though. Let's have the Valkyries go for the stuff that's close to us so that we can easily retrieve our drones if it's needed. Because they're taking quite a bit of damage now, that one drone. Now for this one and this one here. I'll try locking up everything that is close and also not locking us up because that means that they're going for our drones with this one. And this one need to get destroyed because they are going for our drones. Come on drones, get them. We can use our shield booster now. Great. Alright, really smooth, really smooth. Now just a bunch of frigates left. Easy, easy, easy T6. This kind of room is also very easy in the T6 gammas because they've got no shields. They're not at all affected by the sight's inherent bonuses to shields. So it's just going to go smoother when you're using explosive based weaponry on them. Nice, done. So T6 Gamma Hybrid Gila worked out pretty well here. Uh, this is something that I've many times thought about that it would be an issue. It's not as been as as a pa apparent issue here until we came across this mass newting wave. But I've always uh, suspected that newts are going to be sooner or later an issue with this fit and it seems to be the case. So in that way I feel like the active fit might be a bit more comfortable. But you also have to remember that here I did not at all focus the newts initially so that contributed a lot to me taking a lot of uh, the capacitor and getting newted out. And also, uh, I was able to survive for a decent amount of time, even without any capacitor or near no capacitor. So I was very impressed by the survivability of the T6 hybrid gear here. So overall, very good. Though newts can be a bit of an issue, and it was very obvious here. So I have to think a little bit until I go on tranquility, because I didn't feel too confident there in the new wave. I mean, we might do some future tests, we'll see. Anyway, until then, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something new. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.